Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. It is Deb with Art and Grace, and I hope that everybody's having a good Monday so far. Please, when you pop on, let me know that you can see and hear me okay. I'm getting this pulled up on my iPad so that I can see the comments. So, you guys, come on in. Ooh, let me turn that down. Anybody on yet? Okay, can y'all see and hear okay? Hi, Tracy, good morning. I loved your picture over the weekend. Y'all, I try to take weekends off with the family as much as possible. It's hard, but we work so much during the week that we try hard to have some fun activities or at least family time over the weekend. So I miss everybody. Good morning. Hi, Denise. Hi, Tiza. Hi, Kim. Debbie, good morning, Tana, Anna, Christy, good morning, everybody. Okay, guys, we are going to do some fun spring bees, and I love doing bees. I've done one, let's see, where is that thing? Oh, it's over there. You probably can't see it. You can barely see it if you look right there, but it's a big flower, and it had a little bee on it, but this time we're going to do a big, um, you know, a beehive. I couldn't think of the word. What is that called? Beehive. Hi, Omi. Good. I'm so glad you did. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Linda Sue. Yes, good morning. Guys, I miss you guys over the weekend. It's so funny. Um, I'm ready to be back and, and hit the ground running today. I hope y'all can see okay. Y'all tell me if anybody had any, um, you know, fun this weekend. I saw some pictures because I do get on and look at pictures and stuff. And I saw a lot of people visiting family. I saw some cute grandkids. I saw a little baby goat was born. Like so many cute, fun things happened over the weekend. So you guys share your good news. Let's fill the feed with all of our good news and happy weekend stuff. Hi, Tony. Good morning. So I'm going to go ahead and just get, I'm going to get a larger brush than what I put out. Um, I usually like to use a pretty large brush to get my background done. Where is my large? Oh, I just had it. Here it is. Um, so let's get my brush a little bit wet. Good. Thank you, Anna. Y'all can hear okay, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm going to go into my Bahama Blue and some white and just start doing my cross, my X what I call X, just getting the background on. This is the easiest part. You don't have to worry about anything. You're just slapping it on there. Um, if you feel like it's too light or too dark, you just adjust with your other color. But I'm just using both to get this on because it is a pretty bright blue and I didn't want it quite that bright. I mean, it's, it's fine if you do, but I kind of wanted to mute it down just a tad because I want my beehive to be the focal point. So good morning, everybody. Listen, if you are watching me on my page, this is gonna be shared over to the Craft Round the Clock group. And if you're not in there, you should be. And I think just about all of the ladies that follow me are in that group. Um, <clears throat> there's so many crafters all day long, all week long. So you're always sure to find something that you like and all of the replays are still in the group. So, you know, no matter what time of day or night, if you can't sleep or if you just need a little break or maybe you're looking for inspiration, that is a fantastic group to be a part of. It's free, so just get in there. And Tracy Campbell runs it and um, does a great job. We have so many fantastic presenters. I'm just honored to be a part, small part. I try to go once a week in there and so, uh, anyway, I just wanted to remind everybody to get in the group if you are not already in there. And up in the description of this video, I put the link. So, it is there for you in case you're just watching me on my page. So, we've already got our background done. How easy was that? Um, I love showing people how art... Excuse me for my sniffles, y'all. The allergies here are so bad. I know I tell y'all that every time, but it's because as we look down to paint, our little noses start running and it's... You know, we didn't have a problem before we started painting and looking down and we don't think about it, you know. So anyway, forgive us. But that's why we we have so many allergies here in Texas and I'm sure y'all do too. But it's like a spring, it's actually like a summer day, y'all. Yesterday I was outside for about 10 minutes and I felt my, my skin just frying. I mean, it was so hot. 
so um, goodness it is already we skipped spring and went right to summer it's gonna be in the 90s today so just getting all of my edges done so that it's got a, a nice pretty finished look to this you guys I know I'm missing saying hi to you but you know I go back I will go back and say hi to y'all because I love seeing who is here it's blooming in Illinois it definitely is here in Texas Hi, Maria. Hi, Paula. Hi, Odetta. I'm so glad you ladies popped in. Yeah, Marlene, isn't it fun? You meet so many new people and we, um, we, oh, you just posted your green kids, Bonnie. Awesome. Hi, Vivian. Hi, Karen. I'm sorry I can't say hi to all of you, but I will in the comments. I promise I'll go back or you can come back around and say something else and I'll try to see that. Um, Give me your good news or anything happy that happened because we we do have so many things that are negative. So I like to fill our feeds with some positive when we can. And we we can't. Oh, I had to do a double check because this looks like my coffee cup. It is actually one that I use for coffee, but today it's a water cup. <laughs> it may be my new water cup. Hi from California. Hi Vivian. Hi Karen. Let's see. I said hi to you. Hi, Elizabeth from Roche, Roche, Roche Sharon, Texas. Isn't that funny that I've lived in Texas almost all my life and I don't know where that is. It's so funny. Texas is huge. We have lots of small towns. Okay, so just getting my background somewhat dry. I'm so glad, Twyla. Thank y'all for being here. Oh, goodness. Paula, you win the award. Thank you for sprinkling because I always forget to ask, and I really, they don't want us to ask, but I'm asking, if you don't mind, would you please sprinkle this out? Because it not only helps me, but it winds up helping all of the creatives with Craft Around the Clock, because, um, you know, just somebody will click on this and then click on that. And it really, it just helps everybody to do that. So thank you, thank you. I have not done a fantastic job on my background for time's sake, so I don't know if y'all can tell, but you know, it's a little blotchy. Um, but I'm going to keep going just so that we can be sure and get through this. Thank you, Linda Sue. You're near Houston. Okay, you may have told me that before. Sorry if, I, if you did. Yeah, I mean, yes. Key West is not the same. It's got more green. I love both. I think I have Key West. No, I don't. Um, wait, what is Key West? Key West is, is it folk art? I can't remember. Key West. My mind's blank on Key West, but I think it's got more green if I'm thinking of the right one. Oh, yeah. Yes, it does look painterly. Oh, how funny. You haven't either, Tony. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate the stars. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep going. Y'all, I get so distracted. I'm like, you know, squirrel, but I love seeing what you guys are saying, and it's a deco art color, Key West. Okay, I'm out of it then, because I'm thinking of a totally different color. Okay, I'm gonna put some brown. I'm gonna put just a little bit of black. I might move this over where y'all can see my palette. I say palette. You know, I use little cards or whatever I have that's kind of slick. Y'all are doing stars or something? I'm seeing a bunch of stars. Thank y'all so much. Hi, Sharon's design decor. So you're Sharon, I guess. Hello, hello. Oh, it's April. Okay, good. I was like, wait. I should know. I thought I knew all my deco art colors. Okay, I need those. I need a little white, which I've got. Okay, so we're gonna do a tree. First, I'm gonna do this little base. So I'm gonna do some brown and some black and get a really dark, 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 dark brown for my base of my tree. And I've just loaded up my brush. <clears throat> you can use a flat brush or you could use a round brush. It doesn't matter. Let's see if I do it from here. I'm gonna do it where y'all can see. So I'm thinking of how I want it. I want it to go off the canvas. So we're just gonna kind of come up with it like this. It's really, it really throws your brain for a loop when you're trying to do it upside down and kind of think of how the tree goes because it just took me a second to get my bearings on. Wait, bigger at the bottom, then it gets smaller. If you make a mistake, no big deal. See how it kind of went over? I'm just gonna thicken that up and come on down. No big deal. So this is fun art, but it's still really, I love it. I mean, it's happy. 
when I see things like this, it just makes me smile. So if you're like me, I'm going to move to a smaller brush because this one is too thick for this top part. So let me just kind of bring this on off the page. because we want our focal part to be the beehive right here. So I'm gonna clean this off. Y'all, thank you for the stars. I promise I'll go back and thank you all. I appreciate it. Oh, Amanda, good morning, Logan. Are you watching Aunt Deb? Hi, buddy. Oh, that's so cute. That makes my day. Amanda, if you're still on, I was thinking about him because I saw a picture of Graham, with my, which is my mom, guys, with Logan, which is my nephew or great nephew. Um, Oh my gosh, she, she, he was one of the, the things that brought her so much joy when she was really at the end. Um, she always could appreciate and, you know, and understand that somehow, you know, they were related, I guess, and she just loved, loved visiting with him. So guys, if you have an elderly relative, take your kids, take your grandkids. They need that so bad. They, um, they really become like children, and it's great to to bless them with with the visits from kids. They they really light up and and just kind of makes their day. I know it's hard for everybody to visit elderly, especially when they you know kind of lost the ability to recognize them and stuff, and it's sad and and all of that. But it's so worth it. So worth it. Okay. I'm just coming in with a, kind of a dry brush at this point. It doesn't really have much on it other than I'm putting in some brown, just regular brown, and then a little bit on this branch. So now we've got the really, really dark, and we've got some light, some kind of light brown going through here. Okay. And you can, you know, you can do whatever offshoots you want because you know how the tree's got little branches coming out and then just it out at the edge this brush is not wet enough thank you guys so much for the stars the colors linda sue are already in the vip group i've already put the the final picture of this that i painted the tracer and the colors for your for your um art are already in there so you are good Y'all need to get in the VIP group when it opens again because I take care of those ladies. I give them everything they need um, and try to think ahead so that they have it. Okay, so that will be kind of our base for our tree. Yes, yes. This little brush I'm using is a number five round. Anna. Thank you, Sherry, for the stars. Christy, Tony. I appreciate. Aw, Amanda. They are sweet, aren't they? I have a few videos. It's actually still hard for me to watch videos of her. Um, actually, I'm going to go now and do my, um, do my beehive because I'm going to put a base coat of white and then we'll let that dry while we've gone on to something else. Let me clean this off a little better. Hi, Jessica. Glad you popped in. Hi, Grace. Okay, so for my beehive, it's really simple. You don't have to have a tracer if you think about it. And I teach, the way I teach is think of everything in shapes. So if you are trying to draw a face, what shape is a face? You know, it's like a, mine at least is like an oval. So you start there, you just start there. And then you can kind of break it up into, into halves and do a line and just kind of start shaping it from there. Thank you guys, I see y'all doing the stars. I appreciate y'all, thank you, Anna. Um, so for the beehive, you know, you, you know that it's gonna be basically a circle. So I can just kind of go ahead and just kind of lightly sketch on. Now you would wanna do this probably with a, a pencil or a piece of chalk. But just to get my basic bearings on where it's gonna be, I'll do it somewhere like right there. And then the beehive kind of has a little kind of lump right there and a little lump right there. And then it's gonna have one coming in here and then just kind of gets a little bit bigger. So see, you can kind of play with it. Let's get that big hump there. And then it starts coming back in again. Okay. 
and then just flat across the bottom. So we've already just got our basic beehive shape just from kind of starting with a circle. And just gonna fill this in with white. The yellow is a pretty translucent, translucent color. So having white underneath will really uh, make that yellow much prettier. You'd have to put a lot of coats of yellow if you didn't have white underneath. And you can also mix some white in with your yellow. Um, it'll just lighten the color, but that's fine too. And then you can clean up your shape if you don't like it, but I like things being, um, you know, imperfect and, and it doesn't have to be perfect for me. Yeah, I know, Michelle, a lot of them, a lot of us do, but we also look, we're doing a lot of things free. So pick up each, each person that you watch has tips and tricks you can watch. Oh, see, Jessica, good for you. Hi, Susan. It's rainy in England and it's afternoon. Well, glad you're here. Uh, I understand, Paula. No, that's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, uh, for those who can, it's a really great way to, to grow. And we love to dote on our people. I know that. So, um, but there's lots of lots of free things that we do all the time. And all of the free events that we put on, you know, you, you can pick up so, so much. I have all of my videos on YouTube. To me, that's a, a, a great way to watch them because you, you're not distracted by Facebook notifications. I don't know if you're like me, but when I'm watching something, you know, you get notifications while you're watching. So then you click to go see what they said or whatever. And the next thing you know, you're like, wait, where was that video? You've lost your spot totally. Okay, just kind of cleaning that up a little bit. And also, I've got the free group Art and Craft Showcase, and I put things in there. We also do collaborations in there, so there's lots of videos in that free group to watch and learn from. Okay, so there's our little beehive. Now, while that's drying, I'm going to do some leaves. Oh, thank you, April. How are you this morning? Thank you. I know, I like to see all of my friends, um, finding out about other creators, and now, you know, we all, everybody follows each other, and people that I've introduced my friends to, they're following them now, and it's just great. It's a great, nice, big community. So, I'm taking my round brush, and I'm going to use the black and the green to make this darker color. I need to put out some yellow, and of course, we're going to need that for the beehive as well. But I'm gonna take this and we're gonna do some leaves right now. So I'm just gonna use the tip of my brush, press down and then do it again and make this little football shape. These aren't gonna be perfect, it's okay. We're just doing some leaves, no big deal. You can have them going all different ways. This brush is a little dry, let me, let me get this wet and I wet my brush and then kind of just pat it dry a little bit and get it back into a point. Hi, Pat. How are you this morning? Do you have any good news for us from the weekend? Y'all, I hit 7,000 followers today. I woke up to that. That was nice. Um, nice to see. And and I always am like, wow, 7,000 people have watched my stuff. That's crazy. So thank you all. If you're If you're not following me, I would love to have you. I um, just kind of specialize in uh, fun, whimsical art that relaxes women. That's my goal is just to get women to take some time for themselves and be okay with that. And uh, of course my go-to is art and art and prayer. Maybe that should have been my, my business name, but I really have have seen the benefits of art in my own life and um, so I love helping other women have the tools and resources they need so that they can too. 
because life is hard. We all know that. There's no shortage of stressors in our lives. And so um, if you don't take the time, make the time to have an outlet, you'll wind up in trouble. And art is a great one. So just making these football shapes, that's what I always tell people, just use that brush, let the brush do the work. If you have a good round brush, it'll do it for you. And when I say good, it doesn't have to be over expensive. Um, this is, you know, I probably got this set that I use for probably 10 bucks maybe, um, but they're good quality. So it doesn't have to be expensive. You can find sets at Walmart, at Michael's Hobby Lobby, Amazon. I have an Amazon store where all of my favorite things are pinned and um, whatever you see me use will be in that Amazon store, whether it's paint, brushes, heat gun, everything. Let's see what I'm missing. It is so therapeutic. Oh, thank you, Paula. I appreciate that. That's what we want. That's what we want is to just, you know, I want women to feel like they have a place because they do. I want them to know that they're loved and they have friends that care about them and the that's why I love the VIP group and yeah it's you know $18 a month but it, there's so much benefit isn't it I mean you guys who are in it you'll you can I mean I I know y'all feel it too because y'all tell me um, so you know that's why we want to see people when you can find a group that you enjoy because really it's a community I never would have believed you could do that online, but God gave me a vision for it, and and it's come. It's coming. I mean, I see it. We are doing it, so I love it. I don't know what I would do without it. Okay, guys. So you can put as many or as few as you want, and that is just our base coat for our leaves. I just kind of get that dark green color on there and just you know however many you want is fine and you can tell I'm just kind of getting them on there I'm talking I'm not paying attention so easy easy you know just don't overthink it this is fun fun art and that's what makes it relaxing is when you just get in there and do it you know get a mixed media book if you don't want to waste money on <laughs> You know, canvases, like if you're new to painting and you're like, well, I don't want to spend all that money on canvases, don't. Get a mixed media book um, and use that. And just practice, practice, and watch these tutorials. And lots of times I give away free tracers and free resources. Especially, you know, if you get into that um, Art and Craft Showcase group, there's lots of free tracers in that group. You just go to the guides and look for the things that you like. Okay, so that's about the last one I'll do for the tree for now. Thank you, Paula. I also, one tip is to clean your brush off in a paper towel before you put it in your water and your water won't get so murky. Yes, Kim, aren't they good people? And you know how they say birds of a feather flock together? It's true, they just find each other. I have the sweetest, we don't have any drama, we don't have any ugly people. Um, it's all the sweetest ladies who just are there to paint and create. We do crafts, I mean, it's just fun. So that's, you know, I started to say, that's the reason we want people in. It's not, you know, to get a big old group or anything. It's just because we really are having fun and we want everybody to have fun. <laughs> okay, so I've just mixed a little green with my yellow. And I'm just gonna come over this and touch these leaves. I mean, you see how quick I'm doing it? I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just touching down with that color. How are we doing on time, guys? I don't have my watch on. I got a little bit of resin on it yesterday and I freaked out. <laughs> I freaked out. I was using it as my time piece, you know, what, or whatever you call it, like a stopwatch. And so I touched it because it went dark and then I was like, ah, so I didn't put it on today. Let's see. Oh, thank you. 
we, we love to pray for each other, all that good stuff. In fact, we're praying for Gloria today. If she pops in here, maybe. Uh, Gloria is moving from Montana to Tennessee today. So if you're a VIP -er, please keep her in your thoughts um, for safe travels. Christina is another one <coughs> that we've been really praying for, having a lot of health issues and been in the hospital. So we just, we love our friends. Thank you, Christy. Okay, we're good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a smaller round brush. This is just more of a detail brush and grab a little bit of white and put into this and really lighten that up. And then just kind of roll into a somewhat of a point and then just kind of come on the top of this and touch each of these leaves with that color. I am going a little faster than normal, so it's not gonna be neat, but that's okay anyway, because I like to show you how, you you know, people that say, well, my hands are shaky, or I'm not, I just can't do, you know, you, you can do this. And then if you wanna spend more time on it, you can perfect it. So I don't mind showing y'all messy, you know, um, whimsical, I think that's fun art. Yes, I need a cover, Mary. Um, okay, back to my round brush. And we're gonna do our beehive. So I've already got my base color, so this yellow will go on good. I am gonna put down a little bit of, I think I'll just use this yellow for time's sake. And I'm gonna think about, um, under each of these little things, you're gonna have a little shadow so i'm putting this going from here to here on each level okay that's that now i'm going to take my white and my yellow and mix those now i've got green in there i've got to be really careful in fact these are what I use a lot of times. These are my Rolo label stickers. So if you get one, like an off one, you can just use, or when I take them off, I'll use this. I mean, for a, look at that. I just got all that green in there that I did not want to do. Oh, I didn't want to do that. What I was trying to avoid. So for time's sake, y'all, I'm setting that aside. I'm gonna get more paint. I hate wasting paint, but. I don't have enough time to really be neat. Okay, so I'm gonna mix my white and yellow and get a really light yellow. And I need enough to do my whole beehive, so. Okay, now. This, I've kind of allowed that a little bit of time to dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and just come with this light yellow and paint this in. I'm gonna go over this, but try not to really smear it because I want those little lines there. That's gonna be our shadows. Just keep on down each section. Y'all still with me? Hi, Carol. Thank you. Oh, hi, Teresa. Y'all, anytime my, my painting friends get on here that they're actually really neat, beautiful artists, I get like, oh no, I love Teresa. But now I'm like, oh no, her art is so beautiful. If you have not followed Jeremiah Dreams, you're missing out. Not only is her art beautiful, she's a beautiful person. Um, 
sweet lady, so you want to follow her. And you'll get fun art from me, and you will get beautiful technical art from her. <laughs> but that's what I mean about we all have something different. You'll pick up little things from different people. And maybe something I've said you will carry with you when you watch her and be somewhere in the middle. You know, your style might be somewhere in the middle. Who knows? So anyway, there we go with our beehive. And you can see the shadows. And if you want to darken those up, you... Sorry, you certainly can just go back into your yellow and just kind of go back over them a little bit. Okay, and I kind of like mine a little bit softer, so I might just run my brush over it like this and soften them up. Okay, and then we're going to do our little beehive door. Paula, did you get your craft room clean? That is such a good feeling, isn't it? Y'all, oh, what time? What time is it, somebody? Hi, Charlotte. Glad you're here. Okay, I'm going to take that smaller round brush or detail brush and go into some black. And we're going to do a little door. And, of course, we got to do the, the B. Now, I'm going to make, um, you'll see. I'm, you just watch. I'll, it's easier for me to just do it than explain it as I do it. So, I'm going to make a little kind of door like that. Kind of blending with that yellow to give me kind of a charcoal -y color which is perfect i wanted to look at the time does anybody have the time. Hi, Dina. How are you? We're going to Oh, thank you, Deborah. 1104. We're going to have Dina doing a beehive next, y'all. If you haven't seen her beautiful flowers she painted, y'all, they just scream her name. So she's given me credit for teaching her, but they look just like Dina. They look just like Dina flowers. So go look. They're on my page. They're on her page, um, but they're beautiful. And in her Dina colors, I just love them. It makes me so happy. Um, and, you know, the post, I put a post about it because the happiest, when I see you guys do something that I've taught, it just makes me so happy. But to see her smile, she was proud of herself and should be. They're amazing. Um, that's what it's all about, is doing something that brings you joy. And... Um, this kind of fun art brings me joy. Now, my family doesn't like it. My, my daughter, my son, my husband, they're not into this. They, if I go show them this, they'd be like, you know, is that for a kid's book? They don't get it. Their minds don't understand whimsical art. So I almost quit doing it because, you know, you look for some validation from whoever you're around and, and you know, they just weren't into it. But thankfully, I pushed on and kept doing it because it's what brings me joy. And I have people who enjoy it. So I just had to find my people. Okay, let's do the B real quick. So I might even switch to a smaller detail brush here. This is a, just a different detail brush. If you guys are curious about these brushes that I love with the three handle, um, they're in my Amazon or just message me. I will help you find them. So I'm going to just go for this here. Um, so the bee is going to have a little round head. And then a little start to the body. And then you can even do the little trail off like this, which I think is always cute to add. Get 
uh, I'm gonna switch and do my yellow stripes real quick. And of course this is wet, so I'm trying to be careful here. Normally you want that to dry before you go into your yellow so you don't smear it. But for time's sake, we're just gonna go for it here. Uh, listen, I'm going to go back and read your comments. I'm sorry that I can't read them right this second. Um, but, yeah, I I enjoy uh, chit-chatting with you guys. And so I go back and read them and respond. And Thank you for being here. Thank you for sprinkling, y'all. That's how we get, you know, I'm at 7,000 today, which I'm just thrilled about and thankful for you guys who have helped me get there. Thank you. Thank you. Um and every time you sprinkle, that's what it does. It just gets us to more people. And it's not about getting our page huge for, you know, status or anything like that. It is about Facebook will start letting us earn money when we get to 10,000. So that's why we're all racing to the 10,000 mark. Um, we, none of us, we all feel called to do this for whatever reason, different reasons. And, um, you know, so we're just trying to get there so we can keep doing what we love and keep hopefully helping inspiring you guys okay and then for his wings I'm gonna do white with just a touch of either blue you can do blue I'll just use some of this Bahama blue just a touch to give it a little color besides the white probably need a little more white You can use gray here, just whatever color you want the little wings to be. And then I'm gonna use this one for the little dot and we'll give him a couple of eyes. We will give him a couple of antennas. How are we doing on time, guys? Somebody let me know the time. Thank you for sprinkling, Debbie. How are you today? I want you guys to have a great Monday. I want you guys to um, help somebody else have a great Monday because there's so many hurting people all over, right? And just be kind. Even if they're ugly, be kind. Something's, you know, going on. And usually it has nothing to do with us. It's just you know, something we, we don't know about. Okay, I'm taking a tiny little brush and coming in here and just making some marks on his wings just to kind of, I don't know, it's almost like cross hatching or just making little lines. Okay, let me show you all that up close. Y'all see it's 11-11, Anna, thank you. Thank you, Carol. Okay, so a few minutes. And then I do another B, and then I'll, I like to take my black or my thin little um, liner brush and get into my black and then do some whimsical outlining. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of go whoop, you know, like that. And this should take the pressure off if you say, well, I'm shaky, I can't do it. But see, we're, we're just quickly just kind of coming in here and give it a little outline. If your brush drags, just get it a little wetter and roll it around, get it to a point like that. And then I also come in here and drag some of that through the tree. And then also take my, I needed some brown, and I don't think, did I get brown out today? Yeah, I did for the tree. I guess I put it back. Just a couple more little touches I'll show you. Y'all, when it is um, 11, 14, somebody start typing it, so I'll see it. 
Um, I'm just coming in with some of this brown and I'm gonna come across the top of this tree branch. And then we will just kind of go down. And I like to take like a boar's head brush and get it into my brown and just kind of dry brush this brown and kind of blend that in and kind of gets it a little bit of a wood look to add some of these colors in there. So who's going to paint a bee today or tomorrow or when you have time? A beehive. And y'all, this looks really cute on those wood rounds too. So you might want to go grab a wood round. It's 1114, y'all. So we got most of it done. The only other things that I do are come back with my white, just a tiny bit of white and give it a highlight here and there. So I would highlight each of these little sections and maybe do some highlights on the green right here, just like this, just little bitty highlights on top of those leaves. So there you go, easy peasy. Thank y'all, thank you so much. Your sister wants one, a bee painting? Good, Pamela, I want y'all to tag me. So when you do one, tag Art and Grace or Deb Brown or whatever, however you can find me, just tag me, send it to me, something. Thank you guys, I hope y'all have a great week. And if you are not in the Craft Around the Clock Club, get in there. So up here at the description is a link and um, if you need anything from me, just message me and I'll go read the comments. Thank you guys. I appreciate you being here. Have a good day.